welcome to this Sonic Wall tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate Capture Client with a Sonic Wall firewall. This helps ensure that endpoints and users are protected from constantly increasing threats and attack vectors. When the integration is configured, the firewall will detect endpoints on the network using the Sonic Wall Enforcement Service and pull them for the Capture Client agent. If the agent isn't installed, the firewall restricts the endpoint's web access and pops up a block window that provides the user with a link to perform a self-service capture client installation. The capture client agent also enables the collection of user and device telemetry, the sharing of network alerts to end users, and the detection of encrypted threats through DPI-enforced decryption of SSL traffic. The requirements for this tutorial include a licensed version of capture client, a sonic wall firewall with admin access, and a Windows endpoint. It's also important that both Capture Client and the firewall are registered under the same tenant within MySonicWall. We're using an NSV270 virtual firewall for this tutorial, but Capture Client integration works with any SonicWall Gen 6.5 or Gen 7 firewall. The first step is to share our Capture Client licenses with our firewall. We'll log into MySonicWall. Then open the tenant that Capture Client and the firewall are both registered to. We'll click Capture Client, go to the Licenses tab, then click Sharing to open the License Sharing Management window. We'll increase the number of shared licenses on our NSV Virtual Firewall from 5 to 7, click Update to save our changes, then close the Capture Client window. We'll log in to our firewall, then make sure we're in the Licenses section under the Devices Settings page. We'll scroll down to the Endpoint and Remote Access Services section, where we can see that our shared license count has already been updated to 7. If the license count still showed 5, we could have clicked the Synchronize with License Manager link to update the license totals. Now we'll need to enable the Enforcement Service and create an Enforcement Profile. We'll click the Object tab, expand the Profile Objects menu, then click Endpoint Security. We have a default profile configured, but a best practice is to create a new enforcement profile, so we'll click the Add button. Type in a name. Enable Capture Client Endpoint Security under Service Configuration. Then click the Add button to complete our new enforcement profile. We'll close the Security Profile window, and our new enforcement policy shows up in the list. Next, we'll click the Policy tab. Click Endpoint Security in the left menu and then enable Endpoint Security Enforcement. We'll also enable the SSO login via Endpoint Security option, which allows admins to apply user-based policies that are based on user telemetry collected by the firewall, and enable single sign-on. We can also enable the Notify Endpoint of Network Alerts option, which allows the firewall to send block event notifications to a specific user on an endpoint. We'll leave the option disabled for this use case. We'll click Accept to save our changes. The next step is to enable the enforcement service on specific zones and networks. This allows admins to do things like enable the service on network zones with corporate devices, but leave the service disabled for third-party VPN zones. We'll click Endpoint Policy under the Rules and Policies section of the left menu, then add a new rule. We'll type in a name for the policy, select our source zone, set inclusion to include all addresses, and leave exclusion address set to none. We'll finish by selecting the enforcement profile we just created, then click Accept to save our changes. Now that we have everything configured, let's see the integration in action. We'll play the role of a new user at a remote site that's protected by a SonicWall firewall, and we'll be using an endpoint that doesn't have Capture Client installed. We're connected to the network, but when we try to access a website, we receive a page that tells us our access is blocked, explains why access is restricted, and provide self-service installation links for both Windows and Mac OS. We'll click the Download for Windows link, launch the Capture Client install app, and then go through the installation process. The application installs Capture Client without the need to enter any configuration or licensing information, so it's quick and easy for end users. After the installation is complete, we can successfully access any website that's allowed by the policy we created. We'll verify SSO functionality by switching back to the device tab of our firewall. 
expanding the Users section in the left menu, and then clicking Status. This is where we see all the user details, along with the IP address that's shared by Capture Client. For more information about SonicWall firewalls and Capture Client, visit sonicwall.com. And be sure to subscribe to the SonicWall YouTube channel to stay up to date on new video tutorials.